what's up everybody it's your boy Oz with Toe Vibes and it has been such a crazy crazy month already it's April it's snowed yesterday and today the weather's kind of chilled out a little bit it's 50 degrees and uh, it was my birthday on the 7th and uh, I had a good birthday I've been really kind of under the weather with the allergies here in St. Louis we get this dander it's like green and um when it first starts getting nice out in like April, you know, May, it starts to pollinate or whatever. And it, there's like green stuff, a, a thin layer over your car and everything. That's how bad it gets. So uh, I never really had allergies until I moved to St. Louis over 10 years ago. And um, it's just kind of messes me up really bad when it starts. So um, enough about that. So how y'all been? I hope everybody's been doing great. Uh, I've been super busy trying to do different things on working on the business so I haven't been able to shoot as much as I'd like to but we're shooting right now and that's all that matters so I'm pulling up to the yard here because um, first off that's where my trucks are and we're gonna go do a little walk around right now on my M2 that I got and I feel like this truck is like Bigfoot it's like you hear about it but you never really see it and that's because I'm trying to get it going to pass DOT inspections and everything and get it all lettered up and everything so I can run it you know if you're running a truck commercially commercially and not just for yourself you know you got to have it legit and it's got to be insured it's got to have dot's and all that inspections and everything and i just sent off for the title and in order for me to get this to pass inspection everything's got to be good so there's a couple things i'm still working on and um, i got most of it ironed out and one of the things that really bugs me that's kind of been battling me ever since i bought this truck is uh the free spool for the winch line or lack thereof and <clears throat> as you can see um the actual when i bought this truck i thought it had a free spool um winch on it which it did from the factory you know it's got a free spool winch um and it's air powered it's under air and that's what that is right there that lever right there disengages and engages this piece which is the actuator and uh you know me doing my thorough check on the truck before i was i bought it and i was sitting there with the guy one of the first things i did was inspect the winch which the winch looks like to be in phenomenal condition and uh, the, even the line on it is new it's got some good big j uh v's on there and uh i don't feel like jumping all the way up so i'm gonna use my wheel lift you guys ever use the wheel lift as the stairs i always do so anyway it it was you know it was under my assumption that you know obviously when you hit that button it's gonna free spool the winch well that didn't happen the winch wasn't disengaging the air was coming up through here which leads me to believe that the line is ruptured or disconnected or whatever so the guy kind of looks at me and he's like oh i got the piece for it and then he busts it out so he was trying to hold out on me so he gave me the piece and i got the piece right here and this is actually supposed to go into the winch and have a hole in there to um, actuate and disengage the actual free spool for the winch line. But I noticed it didn't have the hole in there on the side. So um, I actually did call a vendor and I sent them a couple pictures and uh, they told me, hey, you know, you got a, a manual spool winch on there. So for whatever reason, I guess they must have switched the winch out at one time because this is a manual uh, winch. But the problem is, is it doesn't have the arm on it to disengage it and to re-engage it you know what i'm saying it connects to this rod right here on the end right here which goes all the way through and then it disengages the um the gear on there you know the worm gear because that's a worm gear uh winch not a planetary so i went to a place online and they actually sold the kit so they're gonna actually have to convert this and uh you know they're gonna have to drill out the holes and everything and i'm gonna ma i imagine it goes this way probably behind over here or something he's gonna have to rig it up he's probably gonna have to put it on that side so it's right here and then this is what all the hardware that makes that happen here's the handle there's the bracket that'll probably go there somewhere and then the actual uh pivoting mechanism that connects to that rod is all here so it's just something dumb that I've been having to deal with. It took me three days to get the parts and everything. 
plus I had a whole bunch of other stuff I had to tend to and and other stuff on this truck that needed to be done so I got the new seat uh, it's a Bostrom seat I was able to get this off eBay for about three hundred dollars because this seat was just trashed it is an air seat and then I detailed out the whole interior on the truck it's good we put some new interior speakers on it because the other ones were all blown out um we rewired the light bar and the actual light and back the pto was not wired good whenever you would hit the light bar or any of the buttons on the dash any of the auxiliary buttons it would um it would fire off the uh, pto so that's not a good thing because then you can burn up the pto uh, on a truck like this so uh, let's go ahead and fire this puppy up because the twist for today is I actually have to take this truck down to Lonnie, which that's a whole thing within itself. Lonnie is the godfather of tow trucks, and it's always good to have a, a contact or a plug, you know, with someone that's more street on the service side because you're going to save a ton of money. And uh, just ever since I've started this, I always knew to make good contacts, and my good contacts have always uh, come through for the most part, and they've kept me in business. So I'm gonna take this M2 down to Lonnie so he can get that uh, winch uh, assembly, the manual assembly, all put together and fabricated for me. And then I'm gonna tow my Ram down there because I got a motorcycle to go get that's an hour past of where the truck's gotta go. So I'm gonna take the truck when I drop this off, drive to go get the motorcycle, load that into the Ram, drive back to where the truck's back, load the truck with the motorcycle. So that's three different units. And then I'm gonna haul back here to where I'm at so I can get that bike ready to ride it around, go network. And then you know, I'm gonna do a little bit of Oz Customs to it. And then we're gonna sell it for a little bit of a profit and have fun on it so i'm gonna go ahead and get that all going um i want to show you guys the truck a little bit more because um, i didn't really get to touch too much on it i wanted to kind of do a whole shoot you know within itself but i will when i get it done this is just going to be a little uh progress update so i'm gonna wait for it to warm up for a second let them uh, batteries give a good charge and uh, make sure the volts you know uh, climb as high as they can and hopefully it'll fire right up I haven't fired this truck up in two days so let's see this is a MB uh, 900 Mercedes oh she's sluggish definitely need some new batteries for sure but she cranked right up when it was nice out 60 degrees the other day it fired right up it's one thing that I'm definitely gonna do is I'm gonna go to the salvage yard I'm gonna go get a battery cover because there's a cover that goes on there and then I'm gonna put that cover clean the terminals grease them down new batteries higher crank bolts I'll probably get some odysseys uh, those are fantastic batteries or you could even go to the local truck stop and just get some usually for about a hundred dollars uh, it's hundred fifteen dollars a piece so Go ahead and idle her up a little bit. I just did the air filter and then the little basket that sits underneath there. I replaced all of that. We just did a full PM on it. Uh, replaced a couple of the bushings and uh, some things in the rear lines that that are, had to, that were leaking that needed to be done. And uh, right now, I'm trying to track down a leak back here at the wheel lift, which is starting to leave little puddles of uh, uh, you know, hydraulic fluid. And when you're towing on someone's nice property, it's important you don't have any leaks on your tow truck because guess what? If you're dumping transmission fluid, oil, or uh, hydraulic fluid, you're going to pay for their driveway to get... Uh, cleaned up and and let me tell you that stuff gets in there so thick even when you power wash it It still don't come out. So good luck with that If uh, that happens to you and you got a leaky truck It's just best just to get it fixed unless you're running junk cars If you do a motor club, let me tell you 
you're not going to get away with that for very long. So, um, the handle is actually pretty good. There's not a lot of slop on this side. The other side's got a little bit. We can adjust them, but nothing's broken. They're really good. Air suspension, everything's in great shape. Definitely this. Air dump. This is a 21 and a half, so it gives me the perfect, uh, uh, you know, load angle. And then it's got this kind of right approach style or different approach style bed on it to give you a little bit of lift. And then it's got a nice little kind of dip that comes down, which works good for the chains and stuff. They don't scratch up the bumper when you're loading and unloading, so. Uh, that's a pretty big ass bed. That light bar is so bright, it literally turns nighttime into daytime. I'm not kidding it. And the motor sounds so smooth right now because I just changed it. You can't get Rotella, or uh, I just changed the oil in it. You can't get Rotella anywhere. So I switched to uh, Delvac and it still worked out pretty good. It's still good oil. That thing is so bright. So I'm gonna go ahead and get everything I need to uh, get this truck loaded up. Just probably move it out of the way here. going to be loading the uh, rubble so uh, as always you know on an M2 class you got to alright so we're going to go ahead get this loaded up and then um, I'm off to drop the truck off and then I'm going to go try to see to get this motorcycle. It's a Harley Sportster 1200 with a kick-ass paint job and some pipes on it. So I'm down. So. To the parking lot for your destination. Alright, so we just pulled up here to Big L's or Mr. Lonnie's. The tow truck godfather. He's going to get me squared away because we got to get this truck uh, making some money. And uh, I got the okay. Rebel on the back because we're gonna go get this Harley Davidson right after here. So hopefully we can make that deal. I'm gonna cross my fingers on that. And uh, let's see what Mr. Lonnie's got going on here. Well, that thing didn't work. I'm surprised he even gave me that piece. This is what they gave me. And then they're saying this is the rod, which makes sense because it tilts out this way. How you doing, brother? I'm playing. That 
That's the really the yeah, main piece you main needed right piece. there. Right. Here, let me hop up there. And then that just, yeah, like clockwork. Ah, she said it's everything. It's 280 bucks, so I hope it's the whole kit. I have to get a set. She can get a get a key weight. Pull that back out. You're talking about the thing that sits. There's a piece that sits yeah. over there like a cotter pin almost, like, right? Right. Yeah. Goes in there and go in there. Yeah. Lock this in, then you oh, tighten yeah. it up. Oh, yeah. And you know what? I figured there was something like that, too. Right. But I'm, I'm just surprised they didn't. Thought he didn't put one in there. Nope. I get key weight for it. You can get one made for it? Yeah. Okay. You got yeah. a little fab shop here in town. Yeah. Bust it out. Cool. Yeah. I figured you did. You'd be the man to get it done, so. Yeah, I'll make it happen. Make it happen, Captain. I'm on my way to go get a sports through 1200. Well, do you need stuff like this, man? Do you need extra parts laying around and I put them up when if I need it. You, you know, know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'll tell you what, if you take care of me cuz you might you might get that one job okay. where it's like, you know what I'm saying, but right, I know you a stellar back, guy yeah. and you've been straight up with me, so I'm a, okay. I'm gonna let you hold on to that for me, okay? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Cuz I don't really need it. So, yeah. we'll make it happen. Yeah. What I really wanted to do with the price of wenches now, man, I could have got a brand new wench, but it would have been electric though. Don't know that. That's what I'm saying. But it would have had the remote and everything. I'm still gonna get the loadar system on here, yeah. but I still need just something for now right, to get for me. Now, right. Yeah, I got a free spool it, you know, because that's time on the highway. Right. You know, I can't be sitting there. You can't be sitting no, there. No, bro, right. I gotta be loading in and out like lightning. You know what I'm saying? Got you. We, you got we make, me. We, we make it happen. Okay, the keys in the ignition. And um, the one thing is, while they're making that up, I noticed back here, she's leaking quite a little bit from that, um, even that wheel it's, cylinder yeah. looks like it's leaking right there. It's still leaking. Yeah. There? Yeah. Oh, that line. Yeah. yeah. Right. You know what I'm saying? I'll clean it up and then we'll check it. Let's check it. Let's yeah. get it because I can't be dumping no, you can't fluid be dumping in fluid someone's fluid house in Weldon yeah, Springs right. and it's $1.5 million brick home. You know what no, I'm you saying? can't do that. Exactly. Oh, that that bring a prop. Yeah, and then if you could just tighten, you said yeah, you knew I, how to jump. The I'll other side's cool. These ones just really okay. need to be. We we'll tighten them up. Yeah, okay. and then give me a good once over. Yeah. I'll take care of you, my man. I'm gonna go look at this Sportster right now out in okay. Illinois. It's like an hour that way, so I'm gonna take the truck. Okay. To go get that, and then I'll swing back by on my way back. Okay. This should be before five sometime. All so. right. All right, my brother. Okay, I got you, buddy. All right, man. Take it easy. I got you. Yeah. I'll get out of your hair. And the key's right there in okay. the ignition. Don't get them out of the right on. 1200. Make sure I got everything here. Got everything. Got the money. Uh, where's my mini tripod? And I gotta get some of that. What's up, everybody? It's your boy Oz. And we are cruising in route. We got about another 30 minutes to go. We're just cruising on the countryside right now in between Missouri and Illinois. And I just thought I'd take a little video of the interlude before I pull up on this motorcycle. I'm really excited. I mean, this thing is gonna be awesome. It's candy apple red with a really nice paint job. It's got the zoomies on it. Old 4 1200 little bike big torquey motor i mean what more can you ask for right so we cruise in and then we're going to go ahead and resume this video as soon as we pull up all right so we're going to go ahead and pull up um we're just right down the street so i think his house is right on the other side of the block over here right there sitting out front so let's go ahead and hop out and see what's up oh yeah she's pretty sweet at least the gas tank ain't all dented in or no uh, immediate damage or anything that I see. Uh, 
you don't ever want to touch the bike without the owner being present or anything so i'll wait till he comes out you got his sunglasses chilling back there hey what's up brother how you doing man yeah. Maz, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Nathan. You're the owner, Nathan? Yes, sir. Nice. Harley nice Davidson has manufactured motorcycles under the Sportster model family since 1957, making it the motor company's longest running model. The earliest Sportsters were equipped with the 883 and 1000cc iron head engines. The Sportster 1200 debuted in 1988 and I think just about everyone knows somebody with the Harley Davidson. As you can see, this nice ad right here displays an earlier version, and it's no surprise that a lot of people did not think this bike was street legal. Now they actually still make the Sportsters till current, and you can still get them with a big old gnarly 1200cc. Now, growing up, I always knew that the 883s were for girls, they would say, but the 1200 is for anybody that needs that power and wants a nice little nimble bike. I mean, just come on, this thing oozes sex appeal and it's just screaming, ride me, baby, ride me. I bet this bike has been up and down these roads quite a bit. Yes, actually, <laughs> I just rode it down to the bank. Put, Did you? I had to go put some gas in it because yeah. I couldn't remember how much gas was in it. I hear it. How long have you had it, brother? Uh, about two years. Yeah. I just, bought it. And just between work and everything else I do, it's just, just blow off some steam, having a bad day, go for a ride, and pretty much ride your problems away. <laughs> <laughs> That's if I got to ride it. Yeah. No, I heard. Uh, it's almost kind of kills you sometimes because yeah. you have to walk past it every day and yeah it was my birthday uh, a couple days ago on the 8th yeah or on the 7th i'm sorry and um i was looking for something i wanted it on my birthday but it fell through yeah so nice. you got a clean title and everything oh, absolutely. yeah it's right there in the house yeah old school car but probably got to choke her out a little bit or yes it is cold nature once it gets warmed up, yeah, figured. Uh, the uh, the choke you just pull it straight out. Everything works. How do you switch the tack over? Oh, a little button underneath yeah, there. Button right on, on back. There. Cool. There's eleven. Yeah, thirteen. Or no, that's the. Yep, there you go. Thirteen, three twenty-eight. Three twenty-six. Or eleven, three twenty-eight. Clutch feels nice. Yeah. I've only had the clutch slip on me one time. I said, I pull that joke. Yeah, I thought I pulled it up far enough.
up and down go the down street. I'm not trying to get lost, so. Go down this road, if you make a right, you go okay. down, there's a little bit, a little bit more. Run. Okay. Not the coldest day to do this, but not the warmest either. I know, right? I yeah. Think whenever I bought it, it was about this temperature, only rainy, and I had to ride it home. <laughs> yeah, I've been there, bro. It's, it gets sketchy. She's still a little cold. Yeah, she rides good. There's no rear brakes on this bike whatsoever. I there mean, it is. you just gotta push the way they're adjusted. Shit. Yeah, you gotta push way down. On yeah, them. you gotta push hella ways down. Fronts ain't. I don't know why they, they ain't uh, terrible. I don't know why they adjusted them the way they did. But yeah, I never used rear brakes, so. Yeah, I like to get a little combination, of kind of both. You know, um, let me see. So when I change out, the I'm tire, not gonna so sit here and beat both. you up on easy stuff the tires or front one ain't bad but the back one is the one that's kind of a bitch to it's not terrible you got a season left on it easy for as much as i'll be riding this bitch anyway yep 
that clutch definitely needs to be replaced it's just um it i couldn't get it to time. i couldn't get it to slip but you can just feel the engagement mm -hmm. is definitely because typically with this much torque you should just let off and fucking that thing should slingshot you forward but i like it man can i see the title yeah. i like it you seem like a guy like me you got a good eye yeah. did you buy it from a local guy yeah i bought it from a guy in uh Eppingham. Rob, you only put a couple thousand miles. Five, man. That's that's your bear. That's go. that's your bear. Go yep. home or <laughs> get you take your ass out of my house. <laughs> I mean, as many people as I got asking about it. Okay. And, I mean, this. I know it needs tires. Little uh, stuff. Like, Clutch ain't terrible on it, right. you know. But at least I can ride it around a little bit, and it'll yep. get me through the summer. Yep. And then I'll throw one in there. I really like the sissy bar on this yeah. bike it really well, makes I it. Ordered it i thought i ordered the chrome one but I yeah black one i was like yeah, fuck i'm it. not it hating was cheap that. enough see the thing is is if you would have went with the chrome one mm -hmm. it would have kind of thrown off it brings too much attention to that yeah being black i think it makes it more subtle and like my wife she really liked it because it was mid back well um, yeah yeah so she could lean back she can lean back on them long distance rides so she didn't really ride it too much so all right i mean it, wind gets in her ears yeah her ears no, it's, shit. here's the only deal is uh I, man i got some straps but that truck will actually mm -hmm. lower down but i'm thinking with this maybe if i can just park across yeah. we can just drive it right i'm sure you'd unloaded this bike before so no, actually i rode it home did you oh, yeah. yeah well i'm not riding it that far without I would say typically we back right up because then the truck lowers down and the wheels will be like right here, but they'll kind of have to go around a little bit. Yeah, but I'm trying to think of a better hill. if you got a better hill off one of these side streets over here, uh, but I got to, I'll be honest, I might have to go get some better straps because I know you got an auto zone right. Damn, look at that truck. Ah, that was probably one of your buddies rolling down the no, street. It ain't. Yeah, that's nice. That's terrible. <laughs> he should have went bigger rims. Well, I don't know, but if we hurry up and do this, we can back right up here. Yeah. And then you can lower your truck down and then just drive it right Yeah, because it can still go around, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah, so um, if you want to kind of squeeze. In you don't. You that, don't have a couple small straps, do you? I do not. I have big straps. Yeah, I got big ones too. That's the problem, and they got some D rings on them. Yeah. That. As long as you hook it, like here you're fine yeah those d-rings though is the only freaking problem you know what i think i should just go let's go ahead um i'll buy the bike and everything i'll get you the money yep. and then I, let me go over to AutoZone, and then i'm gonna go buy a pack of yeah, straps which i have them dude but i freaking was such a rush let me see if i have one i might have one. if you got one we might be able to do with just yeah you can do it with just well, I have two, but they're big lasso straps, you know, yeah. but I know we can make them work. Oh, yeah, I got a couple. If you got a couple garbage bags. Oh, sweet, bro. That's all I need. Actually, I just ran out of Oh, man. <laughs> no, we shouldn't need it with that kind of strap. So, where do you want to do this? Oh, I know it's the worst. It's like when you mm. buy something from Walmart, freaking got all the plastic oh, on it, yeah. like drives me crazy. So, if we get just on the other side of this pole here, back in there okay, real quick. Back in over there, yeah. pull into the driveway and yeah, back, back up. Back straight up, and then we can put it in the back of there real quick. Okay, I should probably go pull the bike over there then. signals on this one. Just push the button again. Just push it again? Okay.
What's up, brother? Yeah, yeah. There you go, man. It's 35. Oh, geez. It's all the average. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and drop the suspension down on the truck, so that way um, it'll give us a better clearance, hopefully. All right, so that ass should have dropped down a little bit. You got just a little hump there. I'm trying to kind of stabilize it as you're coming up. Yeah. Oh, that'll help a little bit. Yeah, a little bit it's a little bike. Okay, probably both have to. Well, if you can pick that. All right, ready, set. Man, this bitch heavy. Here, try grabbing it from these forks. Right here. Yeah, ready, set. There we go. And then I'll push up on the sissy bar. Should come right up. There we go. Got that. Oh wait, hold on. My hat. Yep, I got you. Okay, I got the brake. So <laughs> I ain't about to lose that. There we go. All right. You got it. Yeah. Okay. ahead and bought the motorcycle and uh my battery gave out on me i didn't even realize it so i don't know how much you guys caught but um right here here she is she's all strapped in ready to go uh we pulled here this is kind of a preferred method of loading a bike when you when you get it you know if you find a good hill on it you know you want to utilize it so uh we're gonna go ahead and get this bike back home we're gonna stop by see if they're done with my rollback or let's see at least check out the progress ronnie's got on it and let's get back to the STL.